AM 1220 KHTS, hometownstation.com. Yes, Oakmont Senior Living. If you haven't gone over to take a look at their website, I encourage you to do so. Oakmont of Santa Clarita.com. Very beautiful. Margie Vies of Oakmont Senior Living is here today to talk a little bit about Oakmont. I want to walk you through, if you're not sitting in front of your computer right now, all of the unbelievable services. There is something coming they call the Silver Tsunami. Now, if you are concerned about your parents or loved ones, aunts, uncles, if you have someone, even even your neighbors, if you have a neighbor that you're you're very, very close to, someone that, that you love very much and you're concerned about that next step of life, you might want to think about having a conversation with them about Oakmont of Santa Clarita. Margie, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. I am very impressed with what Oakmont has for a number of reasons, besides the fact that it's absolutely gloriously beautiful. You know, there's that. The floor plans for these places that that offer uh, a, a, a second home, another home for someone that's maybe transitioning into another stage of their life. You have beautiful floor plans, lovely landscaping, but the care services, the assisted living, the memory care... The every at every level you've left n- there's nothing not thought of when it comes to Oakmont Senior Living uh, and and for those of us who do have loved ones that we're concerned about what a wonderful facility to know that they're going to be taken care of as well as we could if we could de- devote our and dedicate our entire lives to them Oakmont steps in and helps with that for those of us with busy lives or children or or whatever the case may be. And Oakmont has a couple of events coming up. Can you tell me a little bit about what's coming down the pike for you guys? We do. We're moving along with construction. It was fun today. We got to watch the stonework coming in. They're going to be craning in some trees. Um, our, our next kind of milestone is going to be our model opening, which will be right around the end of September. So that's going to be so exciting. But we have two other events that are really community-based. Next Sunday, which is, I believe, the 26th, mm-hmm. we're doing a fundraiser for the walk to end Alzheimer's. So we're going to be having some food trucks, some entertainment, um, face painting, some activities for the kids right on our site. So um, we'll have a big tent, we'll have music. Um, It's from three to five o'clock. Um, next Sunday, you can stop by. All proceeds are going to go to Team Oakmont, which are going to then in turn go to the Walk to End Alzheimer's, which is September 20th at um, Bridgeport Park. All right. September 20th is a Sunday. Yes. August 23rd is it's a Sunday. August 23rd, not the 26th. We have so many dates coming up. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's hard. It's unbelievable. Hard to keep okay. everything together. Next Sunday is our fundraiser. So we encourage people, just stop by get a Kona ice, um, get something from the food truck, buy some raffle tickets, um, and donate towards the Walk to End Alzheimer's. We're really, we're really pushing it. You know, the, the Alzheimer is, is one of those, um, one of those issues that we, we associate very often with memory loss and, uh, and it, 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 it's incredible to me if you read the articles, Alzheimer's can affect so many different socioeconomic uh, across the board it it it, it doesn't d- discriminate and also age where where once i thought alzheimer's was an, an issue uh, that affected a particular group of people it's it's a very variant group of people and so how very nice that you're you're doing a fundraiser for people to come in and, and do something for that and all right so talk to me a little bit about memory care i i think it is nice that oakmont has this um um, your traditions memory care talks about all the things you could do to 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 combat uh, the 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 issues with with me- memory and uh, mental health care. What talk to me a little bit about memory care pro- programs? So memory care programs in general are specialized programs that deal with either dementia or Alzheimer's. I think it's important to really delineate between the two. So. Alzheimer's disease is a form of dementia, which Mm -hmm. is that change in cognitive status. But dementia could be caused from Parkinson's, it could be caused from a stroke, poor blood flow, um, an infection, a head injury, or Alzheimer's disease. And And there's different types of diseases that fall under that umbrella of dementia. Okay. 
So what Oakmont has is a program called Traditions, which is specific for those affected with dementia or Alzheimer's. So our staff is, is specifically trained to deal with some of the issues that might come up. There might be behavior issues or difficulty with um, performing activities of daily living, you know, as you progress in this horrible disease, you lose that ability for mobility, you lose the thought process of how to sequence activities. So you could hand somebody a pair of pants and say, it's time to get dressed, but they might not know what those pants are, right. or they might not remember the process of how do I put that on you know you might see a woman come out with her bra on her t-shirt because right. she's lost that ability to sequence those events so our staff is trained to assist and to keep as much of that independence and as much of dignity as possible um, and that's while, so while critical. nurturing it, it is critical because these are adults with with wonderful lives and this is you know this is just a part corny, of it but it's it's somebody's mother, it's somebody's right. sister, it's, right. it's somebody's And aunt. when it is your aunt or your mother or your sister and you're the person dealing with it, you're not necessarily equipped with it, no matter how patient, no matter how compassionate, no matter how you're beautifully wired to deal with your loved one, the idea that at Oakmont you have trained staff who know how to help with that and w what a what a what a godsend for for a lot of families to to have that. And you brought up such a good point it doesn't matter how patient we might be you know if you're living with a loved one that you know every five minutes where are we going what are we doing I want to eat you know we do find that caregivers burn out right so quickly and and they're the ones that get sick so having an alternative lifestyle like our traditions program it, it is a godsend yeah it's such a gift again we're talking with Margie Vies who's here from Oakmont of Santa Clarita if you'd like to learn more I encourage you to visit their website Oakmont of Santa Clarita.com we're going to take care of traffic and when we're going to come back we're going to talk to Margie a little bit more about the Oakmont <laughs> 